part of the digestion. And so, in, so that means, contrary to popular opinion, everybody thinks you can just feed pigs anything, right? Isn't that the, that's kind of the, that's kind of the, the myth that we have, is you just feed them all the junk, right? But actually, if you're going to do it properly, they need high quality food. Um, they need the same kind of food that we eat. Um, of course, we don't give them meat. They, if you do give them meat, they actually become quite nasty carnivores, actually. Um, I was on a farm once where we had a disease in the chickens. I was, during a college vacation, we were, we were, um, uh, I was managing the farm, and we had a disease go through the chickens, and so I just, sometimes what you do in farm, and I would just feed the chickens to the pigs. Doesn't sound very good, but that's what we did. And that's what the farmer wanted me to do, so that's what I did. And they became quite kind of bloodthirsty and, and, and just changed their whole character. But anyway, they, they, they're, they're mostly we, we feed them as herbivores, um, but we have to feed them high quality. So that means high quality um, carbohydrates, corn, starches, all that kind of stuff, and high quality protein. Whereas with a ruminant like a cow, a sheep, a goat, that you can feed them that stuff right there, which alfalfa is fairly high quality, but just regular hay, and they can break it down. For us, and for a pig, it's just fiber. It just goes through the tract and keeps the tract moving, so it's got a different function. Here, we can break that down into the smaller parts, which then become energy. But for, for us, we eat that alfalfa, uh, it's mostly going to be fiber. Okay, so totally different systems. A horse is a combination of those two systems. So the biggest thing to know is that pigs will eat much <coughs> much higher quality food and therefore more expensive. And you put a pig out in the put the pig out in those hills up there, it's gonna die. In a, in the in the it's not gonna do it all well out just out in the desert foraging. Yeah, um, it needs doing, water, a high Well it needs water but it's also, you know, uh, cattle, sheep, goats can go out and eat those dry bushes and and what grass is out there, and they'll survive as long as we don't over concentrate them. Um, a horse will do okay, but but the cattle and the sheep and the goats, the true ruminants, will do way better. The sheep will do very badly. It's kind of like throwing us out there and having us forage. You know, if there's if there's some food out there, um, desert almonds, things like that. Maybe they'll be lucky, and, and nobody else is eating it. They might survive for a while, but they won't do very well. So, whole different story um, with pigs. You've got to feed them high quality. Okay. You said that um, when you feed uh, meat to the pigs, that they can turn in like carnivores. They do. Does that affect their meat when it's time to slaughter? No, probably not. Mm -hmm. Probably not. You know, once it goes through the digestive tract, we've got these. Basically, all our basic uh, chemicals that are for food are long chains of carbon. So whether it's a carbohydrate or a protein or a fat, and when it goes through our tract, what's happening is we're breaking that up into smaller pieces. For example, in protein, which where that difference would be, if we eat meat or if we eat protein from, from beans or from some vegetable, it just breaks it up into individual amino acids, and then we take it in and we reconstitute it. So it shouldn't change the, the meat very much. It will change it slightly in terms of consistency, but I don't think enough to really, really where you would notice the difference of it. Yeah. Earlier I saw one of these two bigs, like one was urinating and the other one just went up straight to the horse, or nah, pig's butt, yeah. and like literally started licking the pee. Mm -hmm. That's because they're in heat, and that's a sign. Okay, so yeah, they have some fairly, fairly disgusting habits. Um, That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're they're an amazing thing because on the other hand, you have people that you know, like pot belly pigs. You can train them, and they can live right in your house, and they can be very clean. They're by far the most intelligent farm animals. They're like streaks ahead. Even the horse people will try to tell you that horses are really smart. Pig is like way, 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 way ahead of um, Yeah, I've seen. So you can train them. Uh, and pigs do some pretty amazing tricks. Yeah, so they're they're just way more intelligent. Uh, they truly are more, much more.
childhood, which, you know, sometimes it, it makes them develop bad habits and good habits. Alright, so what do you guys want to do? Kind of a short date.